What's going on guys? Hope everyone's having a good day. Today I'm going to be pretty much working on my van all day. Um, I started putting my bulkhead back in as you can see right there. Um, I still got to um, put in the foam and I think I might get new sides for the front of it. I think I might put Luon or some sort of nice plywood that I'm just going to paint it um, not black. I'm going to paint it like a gray or something like that. I haven't really decided yet but I have decided that I want to put a new piece of wood on the front so I got to pick up some supplies today um, hopefully I can get my bulkhead all in today as well as putting my kitchen area lengthwise um, behind me there I also have to cut out a spot on my kitchen area to put it over the wheel well because it's gonna go over the wheel well about five inches so I'm gonna start getting into that and hopefully I can get a lot of work done today all right, so I want to give you guys a little bit better of an idea of what it's going to look like in here. So this is going to be pushed back all the way right here. And this is going to be lined up right to my bulkhead. Then what I have to cut out is this part down here. So I'm going to have to cut out a piece so it can slide over the wheel well. Then I'll just have my paneling come back up across. Then... Uh, from all this right here is going to be bed so we can see the line right there that's going to be this is going to be all bed then from in between the two wheel wells about two feet from here there's going to be a drawer that comes all the way out that i can have all my fishing stuff and all my outdoor stuff in there then all right here is going to be all storage for like clothes and stuff so that that's that's what i'm thinking oh and i want to put um a shelf right here like a, a shelf that has sliding, like two sliding doors or two doors that lift up. So that's what the plan is. All right, so right now what I'm trying to do is figure out how far I have to cut into my kitchen area because obviously there's some supports right here that are gonna have to be moved, which is gonna be hard because I don't wanna take this piece of plywood off the front to get this out. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to get a little hacksaw and hack the um, the screw out right there but hopefully because I, I still want it to be like um, relatively supported still because I'm gonna have to cut out well okay let's say eight 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 inches so eight inches comes to the back side of this so this whole thing has to come out with this thing underneath which uh, Looks like it goes all the way down, so that's going to be a problem. What I'm thinking of doing is maybe... So I think this is high enough, because when I built it, I'm pretty sure this is... It's about ten and a half. Yeah, it should. This should clear. And it's, it's only going to be going over, like... About seven inches onto my wheel well so i gotta figure out what i want to do with it, this whole mechanism here for it to fit all right so i figured out what i'm going to do all i'm going to do is get um i'm going to figure out how far it's going to come over and i'm going to cut that whole section out then once i cut that section out i can put a piece in right here i can drill into this two by two then have this one coming up from the bottom. I can just drill a hole up from the bottom and this one I can go, come in from the inside and drill out this way. So essentially, oh yeah, there. So essentially it's just gonna be like a square, like this, cut out. And this will be cut out down here and this will slide right over it. All right, so essentially this is what it's gonna look like. Um, I'm, I don't know if I should put a piece in between right here just to strengthen that up. Cause there is a piece right here but i'm gonna have a piece that goes up right here then i think i might have one since i can't i have to take this screw out i might have to bring this up a bit so i can drill right through this to get a screw through there and i can just put one right there maybe i don't know i think i might drill this one in first well no i can't because i'd have to put this one in with that I think I might put one there, then I'll just drill this to this. 
Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And just have one down here, a little guy, about a couple inches up. Then I can put my paneling right here and put it back across there. The reason why it's not against right there is because um, there's a thing touching over there that I have to cut out. So that's why it's not uh, right against the wall yet. But this, this will move a bit once it's right against the wall. So I can pull this over a bit using this piece. So I can just pull this together. This should fit very good. All right, I lied, change of plans. I have to cut this piece down here because it's not gonna be able to come in close enough to push that all the way to the wall. So, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. I do have to cut it probably right here. But then I don't know how I'm gonna support this. Maybe just build like a little box, like that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this right here. Then just have a piece coming from here to this bar right here. Just a little guy, just so this is supported. Then I'm gonna have a piece right here. Then a piece right here. And this is gonna go up like this. Just like that. But this is gonna be on the ground, obviously. Or like a little bit up. And that's then I'm gonna have the little one right there too. And that's how it's gonna be supported. That's my final answer. Look how accurate my tape measure mark was. This is gonna be a two by two right there. That's how the bed's gonna come out. Pretty perfect. It's gonna go like that. Anyways, I got this cut out. It's looking pretty good right now. She's all flush. I also took the panels that were on that side off because you're not gonna be you're not gonna be able to see them anyway. So that's just right against the wall now, and I saved an eighth of an inch. Woohoo! So I'm going to leave it like this right now. This is done for now. Um, the reason why I didn't put one here the, in the inside, because one, I would have to drill through this, which I don't really want to. And two, when I make my bed right here, I'm going to have one piece right here. And I'm just going to drill this piece right to the side of that. Then this will give it a brace right there. So I put one right there and right here. Then I was going to put paneling down, but I think I'm just going to have my bed um, come up to here. So then it'll be straight across. Then I'll have this all braced up. And I'm also going to put a couple of screws down there just to hold this so it doesn't move on this side because my water jug over there, it holds it up on that side because it drills right into the wall. But on this side, I, I want it so it doesn't slide. So that's what I'm going to do.
Okay, so one problem that I ran into was with my water bottle holder that holds my uh, fresh water. Before I had this um, cabinet type thing that went like this and kind of sat like that. Since I'm putting this right against the wall, this bottom piece right here is too wide to fit in between the edge of my sink and this bulkhead wall. So what I'm going to do is figure out how thick it is with the paneling first, um, how far it's going to stick out with the paneling. Then I'm going to make a new bracket type um, box that goes underneath this. So it sits like that. Oops, like this. So it sits like that. And I'm going to make it all the way back to the wall this time because before it was just this wide but now it's going to go right back all the way to the wall and i think i'm just going to have it kind of open face i'm not going to have a drawer i'm just going to put a little piece of wood a couple inches up just so nothing slides out then i can just put stuff in the back so with this build i'm trying to save as much wood as possible for my old build right here i have my shelf that i had my clothes in that was beside my bulkhead and i'm trying to save as much wood and prevent spending any more money on wood when I can just try to reuse what um, I are, I've already built and what I've already paid for. Um, this right here is the door that was on it. So it went just like that. And I took all the trim off and I took all the hinges and stuff off. And this is what I'm going to be using for my new water bottle holder, the, um, the new sides that go underneath it. So it's a little rough, but I think I can just put this on the inside and you won't even be able to see it. And the back looks pretty good still. Okay, so I got my two pieces cut how I want them to, how long I want them to be. This right here is the paneling that's going to be on this bulkhead. So I want to compensate for that when I am putting this up. Because I'm going to drill this right into here for more support. So I want to make it about... Like there, maybe? I can either make it five... I don't know how close I want it. That's the thing. I think I'm going to make it five and a half. It'd sit right there. I think that's pretty good. Actually, I actually have a five and a half piece right here. I'm going to see what it looks like. Yep. I think that's pretty much perfect. That's what it's gonna look like right there, essentially. I gotta cut this piece, I gotta put one on the bottom, and I'm gonna put one on the top. Then I can put that back on, then it'll be good to go. <laughs> up making my new water bottle holder I had to cut new trim as well as I stained it all again um, I'm I really like this new design better it goes all the way to the back of um, my wall rather than just a box um, I also added a little piece it's about an inch uh, you can probably see it right there 
it's about an inch just so stuff can't fall out while I'm driving. Um, so I'm going to be able to put a bunch of stuff in there because it still is pretty big. So I just didn't want to block it off and have dead space because um, when you're living in a van, you want to try to make as much space as possible. So that's why I just put that little thing there. I like it a lot more than the uh, drawer. Just because the drawer did take up a little bit of um, space and it didn't go all the way back to um, the wall. So that's why I just left it open and I can just see whatever I'm grabbing and just grab it out. Thanks for watching today's video guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything, like always, just drop it down in the comments. Until next time, take it easy guys.